Hello everyone, Blau here. Welcome back to my channel and welcome to a brand new video. Well, I think I'm gonna upload this for either Tuesday or Wednesday, but still it's not a toy hunting Tuesday. Um, it's an unboxing, but it's not an unboxing that I usually do. Um, it's, it's, there won't be vintage toys in, in these boxes. I mean, I have two huge boxes. And they're this huge, I, I mean, <laughs> here. And the other one is even bigger. There you go. So I bought new toys, which I usually, <sighs> I usually don't do. I'm a vintage toy collector in case you're new to my channel and have just stumbled upon this video because you're interested in the stuff I'm showing you because like um, I don't need to make it uh, like a surprise or anything. You see it in the thumbnail and in the um, in the title of the video. I bought Barbies and fashions uh, for the new Barbie movie. Um, yeah, in case you're new, hi, I'm Lau. I'm actually a vintage toy collector. You see it behind me, tons of my little ponies, um, my Barbie collection somewhere else. So I usually tend to collect Barbie from um, the 80s and 90s, uh, go out to flea markets, uh, buy dolls that are in not good condition, kind of restore them, etc., etc., and um, also lots of other toy lines. Like my main focus is actually My Little Pony, but um, I, I, I couldn't not get any of the like new items for the Barbie movie that's coming out. Um, at the point of the recording and also I think at the point of the upload of the video the, the movie is not out um, so I cannot tell you anything about the movie itself other than you know what you have all seen in the trailers already um, and it's also not that these items that I got here were easy for me to get because I'm living in Germany and um, for whatever reason, like stuff gets released super late or never here, even though it's new stuff from Mattel. So I haven't seen any of the dolls or any of the other stuff out for sale at like normal retailers like Smith Toys or My Toys DE, so ne neither online or in stores. Um, and I usually, oh not usually, and I actually didn't want to get any of the dolls. Uh, I just wanted to get the fashion. So that's how, how I started. Just have a look at Mattel Creations. I, I, I found out they have fashion packs. Um, and okay, it's expensive. And um, shipping is also expensive. And then they kind of never shipped my item. I bought this like over a month ago. And I never got any like uh, like uh, note, note uh, that my, my item was shipped. Uh, I had like three conversations with Mattel Creations support why my item is still not shipped and the last one was like clever enough to check oh actually your item is shipped uh -huh, interesting and then it arrived and this is this box it just arrived like a couple of days ago um, and this is the big shipper box and inside there are these two smaller official Mattel shipper boxes and yeah it's the same item i bought the fashion pack twice um why did i do that i don't know i was like okay i really 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 want to unbox one and put it on dolls that's what we're also going to do in this video but it's it's so beautiful and like uh, i i want to leave one in the box maybe that's why i have two and i still also want to show you already uh, what's in the other big box because at that point when they finally arrive because I actually had thought like they will never arrive they they never ship they actually do ship stuff overseas and strangely enough it also kind of came now it has like also an address from the US but it has kind of a stop in between I think in the Netherlands or something because it has a Netherland like a Dutch address also on it I'm just like completely like why why did it take like so long to at least ship it whatever then when they arrived, like a couple of days ago, I was like, okay, I actually also want to have a couple of the dolls. And um, I looked online, still 
nowhere to be found, only, strangely enough, at Zalando. Zalando is actually a fashion retailer. Um, okay, I will say it, I'm actually working for that company. I have nothing to do with the big fashion store. I'm working for the off-brand business side of, of Zalando. And I also did not get any um, like discount on, on these items uh, because they're not directly sold by Zalando. They are sold by someone else. And these, this company just uses Zalando as a, as a kind of a marketplace to put their stuff. But they're really expensive. I think the dolls are like 20 euro or 20 dollars more expensive than in the US. Um, at that point, like most of the dolls at Mattel Creations, even when I bought the fashions, were already sold out. So I could not have ordered the dolls that I wanted with these fashions anyways. And in the beginning, I was just interested in the fashions. Um, so I was like, okay, it comes from Germany. It's a little more expensive or actually quite a lot more expensive. But I haven't seen any of the movie dolls sold anywhere else here. And the good thing is no shipping. Uh, so there was, there was no shipping cost involved here. So, um, and if I have any issues with the dolls, let's say they are super wonky and I don't like them at all. Um, <laughs> truth is I haven't even paid them. Uh, I can pay them afterwards and if I don't want to keep one of them I can just send it back and don't pay that one so it's actually very like comfortable for me to to buy stuff over Zalando but usually we don't have toys or anything we, we just have fashion so I say we because I work for that company but I, I'm not involved in any of that as I, my job is completely different thing there And as you see, I have not opened anything yet. So, I don't know. Maybe they have even sent me the wrong thing. I have no clue. <laughs> I hope not. <sighs> okay. Strange. Really strange. Okay, one thing I can immediately see. Ta-da! It's the Ken. Then... One thing, it's wrapped in <laughs> in a white like paper, and it's the main Barbie. By the way, you know I have thought I might just dress as well today, a little bit similar to that, and this one, okay. Since I have another big Mattel shipper box, so this is one of the more collectible dolls. So, my goodness. I don't know. Let's maybe just start with these two, so you have something to look look at, and not just always these shipper boxes that I'm trying to open them. Uh, okay, this package. Okay, the star is a little bit torn here, but it's otherwise it's okay why am i so interested in i should have also wrapped definitely him in the plastic because yeah her package looks a little better um the truth is i want to keep those in the package i am a loose collector i mean which is kind of normal because i'm mostly going out toy hunting at flea markets and like thrift stores and <laughs> you get stuff loose and I also love to have the toys to you know tinker around with them do the hair and etc etc restore them clean them etc um, and box toys take a lot of room however these new movie dolls um, they have such nice throwback packages still these don't have the complete um, you know, pink boxes, but they have my favorite Barbie logo on it, which is the 80s Barbie logo. Well, it's not actually not true. This logo was used from, from the mid 70s on up until 1991. So, but the main part, the main like um, decade that this logo was used was the, the, the 80s. That's why I'm referring to this one as the 80s logo, uh, which is absolutely my favorite. Um, I knew that her face and her, Bangs 
like the situation would not look too good. I mean, the face mold is not too bad, but the bangs situation. So I don't know if I'm able to open it up and put her back in when I restyle the bangs or if I just leave it because these, I don't know, I don't need to have them out of the box. I just want to have them as a display. I'm, I'm a little bit strange <laughs> in that. Uh, kind of like uh, nobody can understand my brain. Just recently someone commented on <laughs> Lau dot dot I don't have space for any Barbie furniture. Also Lau I'm gonna pick up two giant biped monsters. <laughs> so yeah I have space for that and then I say I have space for that but I don't have space for this and that. <sighs> Toy collectors are like strange right? Okay what do we have here at the back? So let's just start because I'm not gonna unbox them. There's plenty of other people having reviews of that doll and probably of all of the Ken as well. Um, or I don't know, is it actually easy enough to take them out and put them back? That actually works really well when you just open the box up from the bottom. You actually don't have to cut the tape here. Well, this one doesn't even have tape um, and you can just put it back in this, um, you know, cardboard or plastic um, over box, so to say. And then we can, can look at the dolls without the glare of the package. At first the package, I mean, I want to display it in the package, not because of, I don't know, leaving it in a, you know, that I can sell it in the 20 years or something. No, I just think it's so beautiful. I mean, look at this iridescent Barbie movie logo. The star, which reminds me, you know, star, superstar or something. It's a typical thing. Barbie, we have the dream house at the side. We have another Barbie logo and the Barbie B inside a heart. The back side is kind of one of the like most well-known promotional images from Margaret Robbie as Barbie inside, sitting inside her wonderful car. By the way, the car is also something that I would love to have, but it's even bigger and it's very expensive over here. Um, very, very expensive. 160 euro or something. So maybe at one point it will be less expensive or I find it somewhere less expensive or something. For now, the car is out of range for me. Um, so here we've got that. And the other side has the same dream house again, RV logo. And yeah, the front, otherwise shiny, but no um, pink at the sides here. So it's actually cool that I have her now out, so I can at least also feel the feel the uh, material, which is it feels like paper. I knew that. I have watched like one or two reviews of of her already, um, and I mean, especially the time when we first saw the face, everyone was like, <gasps> "That doesn't look good at all," because you know they have created a new face mold for Margaret Robbie, which is to be expected because they are doing a doll of Margaret Robbie as Barbie. In my opinion, they could have used, I mean, the most iconic face for Barbie in, for, for me, and they are kind of going with, you know, the logo and all of that a little more into the Superstar era with, you know, all the colors and the pink explosion, etc. That comes all from the Superstar era. That doesn't come from the vintage era. Um, so they could have just, in my opinion, used the superstar face for her but okay they created an original face mold and yeah the bangs I mean that doesn't look good it's rock hard maybe I want to try to um, soften the bangs a little bit I have seen people reroute her with you know longer I mean this is the outfit that I was trying to impersonate a little bit of course I have used a way too big bow but otherwise you wouldn't have seen it in the video and she actually uh, in the movie has kind of her bangs parted in the middle a little bit. They are longer, I have shorter bangs, um, but still they are kind of f f like flowy and soft and then a little bit like wavy here in the sides. And what they have done with the doll is really just bangs and that's it. Straight bangs, rock hard. The face when you have, when you have it like without bangs or when you have rooted it differently isn't all that bad it adds actually a cute face so but yeah let's go up a little bit so it's easier for you here to see 
The dress looks really like what she's wearing in the movie. I think in the movie she definitely has a petticoat underneath, a white one, which you see when she's floating from her, from the roof of her uh, house. And what kind of body does she actually have? Oh, she's wearing panties. <laughs> nice. Okay, articulation in the knees, in the elbows, I mean normally here, and also in the wrists. Yes. So, not bad. Kind of like, like the Barbie extras right now, I would say. Uh, the feet, the shoes are definitely like a new shoe mold that doesn't look anything like my old vintage Barbies. It's way, it's sharper, it looks way more like edgy, like very, very high heels, but they're cute shoes, for sure. Um, she has earrings, bracelet and the necklace, which looks what she is wearing in the movie, uh, flowers, so they are white flowers. That's cute that they've done that. And she has a bow. And the inside of her package looks like the dream house. Oops. Yeah, the bangs situation is horrible. Let me try to just loosen it up a tiny bit. The material is like, yeah, it feels like super cheap. It doesn't even feel like material. It feels more like a, <laughs> you know, water resistant tablecloth. <laughs> That's what it really feels like. By the way, uh, what I like about this dress still and also why I don't need it out of the box, etc. The look is good. Uh, the look is exactly like in the movie. Um, and this is actually kind of um, a little bit based on a vintage um, Barbie dress, the um, dancing doll dress, which is very iconic because there's also a skipper version, like it's, it's 60, 65 I think. Skipper version, like me and my doll, where Skipper even has a little doll of, of Barbie or whatever. And there's even a 2D version. So um, maybe I can insert a picture. I think this is probably what the dress actually is based on in the movie and also now on the doll. Oopsie, <laughs> camera ran out of battery. Um, in between I have brushed out a little bit of her bangs it already looks better and I put her back in the box I might just take her out again and try to wash maybe the, the bangs because it already looks a little bit better Um, I think she and Ken, they are, uh, they are the only ones right now sold in directly like this box, which is a little bit more the play line kind of you could say. I don't know if kids will want really to play with those, but um, I think this is a really, really nice way. And that's why I also thought, okay, if these are the only ones sold in kind of these boxes, the other collector dolls are like have complete bigger pink boxes etc I want kind of both of them because at first I was just like I actually wanted just to get Ken because as I said the Barbie is not really ah, I don't really like what they did with the bangs etc but the Ken looks so good and uh, then I was like okay that's stupid to just get Ken then also get Barbie you have the couple um, and I, when I see him, he really looks good. I have no idea if that is a new face mold because it does not really look that, like they really made a new face mold for Ryan Gosling. Or if it's just, I guess it's just a, one of the newer Ken face molds, but it just looks good. Uh, that super platinum hair and I love his outfit. I mean, these colors, they just don't, they just remind me so much of, I have, a, I have one of the play mats for the Barbie uh, ice cream um, shop, which is this one. If you watch my toy hunting videos, you know that I found that pretty recently. And this just reminds me so much of it. So here is his face. Again, let's go 
higher. I just cannot, can never like, the, my table is too close. Otherwise I have to show them to you like this all the time. Um, he is kind of, he's just as open. Yeah, there are no buttons. And the material is about the same as what the Barbie has on her dress, but it just looks good. <laughs> um, shorts and nice shoes. And I think he also has this kind of articulation. So knees, wrists, elbows, and you know, shoulders is for sure. I don't know if his head is on a ball joint or has the typical old can just side to side because I cannot wobble his head. I don't want to take him out of the box and I also don't want to mess with his hair. It looks good, looks sleek. <laughs> and I think both of them probably have uh, Saran hair. Um, doesn't look, I mean, for, for Barbie especially, um, I could feel that it. it's not polypropylene, I think. Um, yeah, they both have the same background, you know, the water slide of the dream house and he has a skateboard so he comes with an accessory they are both the same price point so they were able to put a um, surfboard with him i think you can even if you take it out you can even um, place his feet in there so you could really play with it and he's just a very very handsome doll this is yeah no i need to put it down um i'm really happy with him and he displays very nicely like that. I don't need to take him out. I just put him back in the box and am happy. The only thing I'm not super happy is that here his star at the box is a little bit torn, but whatever. To this one so here you can see Mattel toys Barbie doll there's a number made in Indonesia one piece this is an original uh, shipper box from Mattel <laughs> if I would leave it like that and uh, maybe we get to 30 years uh, in the future um, this would be probably worth a lot because when you find nowadays like toys from the 80s or whatever still in these shipper boxes when I mean, people are crazy because and you can't even see the toy, but like, yeah. But like this, it, there's definitely can't be any damage from shipping because it is so tight in there. Gosh, I don't know if I can even get it out with my nails. Yeah, ah, yeah, okay, easy, easy, easy. Yeah, yeah. What is it? Is it the correct one or is it not? confused no, it's a bigger <laughs> it's a bigger box it must be the correct one hopefully because there is quite an array actually of her outfits out as dolls and I just picked the one that I mean I've not seen the movie I don't know if those scenes were going to be my favorite but I um, those that this outfit has always been my favorite from when I've seen like pictures coming up And I just have a spot, soft spot for Western fashions. So, okay, there she is. Okay, I'm glad that I want to take her out of the box because yes, I'm stupid. I plan to take out this doll out of the box and leave these in. Yeah, whatever. Um, her head doesn't like, looks a little bit like squished into her face and her hair looks a little strange. Um, Okay, from the look online, I always thought that the collector dolls would have a different pink. It always looked like a darker pink and it looked kind of different here, but I'm still correct that um, it has more pink to the front. It still has the um, iridescent logo. There you go a little bit. Da -da. And the Barbie B here also is iridescent. And the boxes are bigger. You can see that. I mean, wider in all all dimensions they are bigger taller etc um 
Okay, I also want to keep this box, but this doll I want to have like out kind of in front of her box in my display. I plan to display them in my bedroom where I have like shelves that are a little more empty. I will kind of remove the uh, um, Rainbow High, Shadow High dolls from there, put them somewhere else and then I have a wide space for like the Barbie movie dolls. Uh, also her package there is a little bit of, I don't know what that is, but the rest of the box is actually kind of the same. They have the same, I, I think I didn't show it for Ken. Oh, Ken doesn't have Barbie at the back. Oh, interesting. Ken does have the dream house. I didn't even notice that. But Barbie again has the same image here. Does it actually have the same text? I didn't read the text, but I mean, greetings from Barbie land. Wishing you the best day ever. That's the same text. It's, you can see it, it's just a little bigger and less text at the bottom so the, the, the image is just bigger so from the package you can see it looks like her head is a little bit squished down and that kind of made her hair a little bit messy um so i'm glad i want to take her out of the box and also i don't know what that is there's something still even <laughs> even though it came in a Mattel Shipper box. There you can see this Barbie B is kind of glittery iridescent. The sides are the same Barbie dream house and the heart. And uh, let's see how I can get that one out. So she also slides very easily out of the bottom of the box. So actually very collector friendly because you can Maybe if you still want to keep her in here, same as with mine, you can mess a little bit with her, you can lift up her head or whatever, and then you can put them in without cutting anything, without ripping anything, like, you know, with the Barbie extras or something. It's kind of like, how do I get them out, etc. Um, collector friendly, which is nice. So at first in the package, she has obviously a different background. She has the beach, which is kind of like, eh? I think in this outfit she's in the real world, at least the trailer suggests that, so the Barbie beach doesn't make that much sense, but I think all of the collector dolls probably come in the same with the same background. Um, she even comes with a certificate, so that really makes her a collector doll and these others more like a play line. So I think I will be back when I have unboxed her completely out of this thing okay here she is here is the empty inside of the box I think I will remove all of these pieces here um, to have like a clear like done picture just of the back put it back in the big box and have that kind of as a background display so um, Oops. Yes, the box consists out of frame for you. The certificate is just essentially a piece of paper, nothing else. It just says certificate of authenticity. This certifies that your Barbie doll was created through the collaborative efforts of designers and artists at Mattel. Wow, hasn't that been at one point maybe even a cardboard thing or something? It's just like nothing else. But I'm not here for the certificate, I'm here for the doll and oh my goodness, does she have bad like box hair. Oh wow. Um, what is that? I mean, clearly you could see these curls from the front, that's why they did these hard boiled curls. Ah gosh, horrible, horrible. This curl in the back, I mean, sure, if you squish Barbie against it, I mean, <laughs> And if you take her head off, oh, blah. but uh, in general, her hair is really, has a really typical nice color and I can feel it must be Saran. It's, it's just that kind of oily texture. Saran is not my favorite hair type. I always prefer Kanekalon, but they don't use that on Barbies nowadays anymore. With Kanekalon, you can way better receive, like achieve real big curls. I will obviously wash her hair out, maybe not in this video, but, um, afterwards uh, and then give her some really nice curls that don't look like this um, and then she will look way better what is really nice she has beautiful big earrings super big star earrings um, also I don't think that this outfit 
is um, yeah, meant to be like a recreation or something of one specific Western outfit. Over the years, I think since 1980, Barbie has have had Barbie had a lot of different Western outfits. Like the first one, 1980 Western Barbie, and then so many different like Western Fun and Western Stampin' and Western whatsoever or horse loving that also had a cowboy hat, etc. What I think is really interesting. I have like two cowboy hats for comparison, two real ones from that time. That is the original 1980s uh, cowboy hat. So the one from the original one. And the mold is really similar. I don't think it is the exact mold. You can see this is a little bit more pushed in at the top, while this is a little bit less. Um, the material is very similar. I mean, here also, um, the brim goes a little more up while this is a little bit more like just relaxed not so much curled in um, but the size is exactly the same and um, I've been very reminiscent with the band around here with the rub I don't know the trim around and um, the material is also soft and rubbery it's very similar this one's just a little bit shiny while this is matte this is one from the 90s um, and it still has the same shape as this one, but here this is plastic. So this is not soft and rubbery. You cannot squish it. So I'm really happy that they have done this kind of very similar to this one. So there you go, Barbie. The outfit also is not reminiscent of any Western outfit that I know. I don't recall any like real, like hot pink ones. There were some Western fun I think fashion packs that were pink I'm really happy that she has this little uh, handkerchief around her neck which she does have also in the movie this is really cute is it actually yeah it's kind of sewn to the top I'm not gonna <laughs> uh, change that and then she has this little vest and the material this material is really nice it's like a cotton or something it looks like denim a little bit she even has um, see-through um, push buttons, snap buttons. I can also take her off. By the way, the stand was included in the, with the doll. Uh, so they are real push buttons. Uh, there are no Velcros. Um, even, I think even the trousers, they fasten with a little hook and eye or something. How is that made? Yep, hook and eye. Wow, I've never seen that on Barbie. Um, the back side of the jacket or West, it's also really cute. There's a horseshoe and there's some more prints on it. Uh, a lot of different seams. The seams are always um, also um, stepped down. I don't know if you really call it that in English, uh, in German. It's gestepped here. Um, so there's another seam, an outside seam also. Uh, it's really well made. Then you have a pattern at this Kind of thing. I don't know if in a movie it's a lapel or if it is really just another seam here. Then we have the trousers. Obviously this in the front they have not done a real uh, cord but this is just printed on and she has stars at her like at the butt <laughs> you could say. Um, not sure if in the movie there are actually um, pockets but she has pockets in the front with little stars here. So I'm really, really happy with the material and with the outfit here. It is, uh, these are flare trousers, bell bottoms, and at the bottom here we have the star pattern. Um, it's just really nicely made. So I love the shoes. I, uh, in the movie, I think I could never see if she's really wearing Western boots or if it's, she's just wearing high heels. She has Western boots here, gold and silver stars. It's a really nice mold. Yeah, it's one that has like, it's like open at the back. I don't want to remove it now, but um, such a nice thing. And like Western boots for Barbie are always one of my favorite types of boots. So I have here the original. So the ones that belong to this hat, the Western boots. And this um, like shape was used so for such a long time in the Superstar era and maybe even longer. I don't know. I also have them in pink, for example, for the other cowboy hat. Um, so the, they always had these swirly patterns here, uh, but they were never painted. So a plus for that, these are even painted. So very cool. Um, 
face mold is exactly the same as with this doll but I'm pretty sure like without bangs and if I style it neatly with the hair it uh, will look better I always like love Barbies way more when they have way more open eyes and have small realistic eyes but I mean that's what we're gonna get if it's a live action movie obviously they're gonna try to recreate the live action counterpart so the articulation same as with this one she has exactly the same body type um, she doesn't have like one of the collector bodies the I don't know model, model muse or whatever no she is just like the normal so less than a made to move body um, but more than the standard so kind of same as with the Barbie extras movement here the shoulders the wrist and the elbows no movement in the waist at all legs can go out a little bit and then the normal like 90 degree angle almost for the feet and in the no, no ankle did I say ankle wrist sorry <laughs> wrist ankle sorry um, yeah I like her but I will probably like her way more when I have styled that hair and have gotten rid of this hair. this horrible mess here uh, so the stand is okay I'm not really happy that it slides down on its own it's one of the normal c-clip ones here so it's not one of the saddle stands but I mean this is way too loose for me for my taste so Barbie can easily when she's sliding off uh, a little bit then th this whole thing will slide down so but in general when when you just leave her like this it it's okay <laughs> so Ta-da! And now let's get to let's put the scissors away. Oh, I will need them now. I'm so stupid. To this. So I actually was able to get the shipper box uh, open quite nicely for the for the other doll. Hope that continues here. Mm -hmm. because this is the item that I was most excited for because I'm I sometimes have said it I'm somehow even more into the fashions than I am into the dolls um, so I was so happy that they came out with a fashion pack for the movie oh is that beautiful oh my god looks like like a Barbie wardrobe you could open it up like that that would be even better but um I think they just slide well, they just slide out to the side. Okay, either way. Uh, the back actually shows the doll in the outfits. So this is also nice. It has three outfits from top to bottom with a couple of accessories, I guess. Um, dolls not included, yeah, obviously. <laughs> um, and I have the same thing in here. Yep, it is exactly the same. And that one, I will, or one of them, I will not bother opening up. That will like stay as it is. So let's already just put it here. And slide the pieces out oh, this is yeah this is so cute how it is displayed within there I'm, I'm just so happy to 
can I can have one that I can keep. I obviously want to take it out, feel the fabrics and dress some dolls with it. So this is just cardboard. And these are like two separate ones. Okay. So it even looks like yeah, they look different. So uh, one of them has again the iridescent Barbie logo at the bottom. It has the has one outfit. And in this one we have yeah just the Barbie B at the top again and nothing else other than probably just this Mattel. It has two outfits in there. Man, there would have been space for something more underneath here. They could have packed four outfits, couldn't they? Um, I don't know, I'm, I'm still super happy. It's expensive, not gonna lie. Um, but uh, I'm definitely hoping for a little bit of quality here in terms of what the fabric feels, etc. Hopefully better than this. Um, okay, what did I what did I come up with in terms of ideas how to um, like style and dress them? I have here brought three dolls because obviously I knew it would be three fashions. Um, I'm not gonna redress it into her. I'm gonna keep her like this. I want to put it on my other dolls, on vintage dolls. So I have dolls from three decades here. So I have this one, which is an early 90s doll. Uh, she is uh, the uh, Barbie from the Mitch's wedding day. So the bridesmaid. It's from 1990 or 1991. Um, so early 90s. Here we've got an early 80s doll. This is also actually a bride. <laughs> um, the Bridal Barbie, 1983, the European exclusive. And I brought my early 70s doll here, my quicker Barbie. Um, so I have like early 70s, early 80s, early 90s, which I have the feeling the Barbie movie kind of like tries to grab more the attention of people in my demographic who are maybe who grew up with maybe 70s 80s or, or 90s Barbies more than the nowadays uh, can I see me? <laughs> than, than, than just little girls that play with Barbies nowadays so I have the feeling it kind of makes sense and also all of these uh, outfits are very much like you know vintage inspired they look even older they look even more like 60s Barbie fashion so like like the real vintage ones or I don't want to say 50s because Barbie started out in 59 so there was just one year in the 50s although they continued on with a more 50s style fashion like in the early 60s but I don't have adults that are that old not even reproduction dolls are from from that uh, era so that's why I chose these three to redress and um, yes I will do that and then you will see it here Here I am back again with uh, all of the three dolls dressed. If I might look a little bit different than before, I actually have been like out in between, went to Ikea, bought more shelving units, 
actually for my Barbie collection. <laughs> and also I uh, have two little things that I'm gonna show you in the end of the video because I also went into a Smith Toys Superstore. <laughs> um, but anyways, if, if I don't know, I try to recurl everything, but like whatever. Um, first of all, do these like modern Barbie fashions that are obviously actually made for like newer body dolls, like you know, actually made for this type of body. Do they fit vintage Barbie bodies? Yes and no. This one, I mean, all of them have kind of the same body. They have the, you know, twist and turn waist, bend and snap knee, uh, the more, like, they are more chest heavy, have a slimmer waist and a little bit more hips. So they are different, like modern Barbies are way more flat and more skinny actually in a way, um, apart from the waist, but anyways, um, they have all the same body type, but still the blue dress is okay. The, it has snap buttons in the back, you can get it on. Uh, this one fits perfectly, no issues whatsoever, because it's actually pretty wide. Um, this one horrible. You can actually not fit it on the doll uh, with this body type. Uh, I made it now, okay maybe, but like still I have to work on that one. Let's start with this one. I will take the doll, or maybe I don't take her off, it's maybe easier to show you when she's on the stand. Uh, just a quick run through of what I think about them. First of all, the fabric is not good on this one and also on the last pink one, so on the gingham check one. It's the same kind of, I mean this one is felt, feels still kind of okay, I don't know why, I, I think it's kind of the same. Very, very like super thin, um, it's a fabric, it's not paper, but it feels very papery, um, but it's okay. There's also, you know, little uh, trousers underneath, so these blue ones. Um, and from the back, you can see snap buttons. They close, but the whole chest area is very tight and it sits lower. With a newer doll, it would sit more up high. You can just, you can't get it like up higher, but it is okay because you have like a, a neck holder situation. You can tie it as low or as high as you want. It just sits lower on a like older doll. There goes the shoe. The shoes actually fit. Um, just I have left on trow like um, tights on this one because my quick curl Barbie tends to lose her one of her legs and actually also her arms uh, quite often. They are very very loose. Um, that's why I always like to secure the legs, especially with. Um, with tights. That's just the reason why I left them on. Although this outfit is not really intended to be worn with tights because um, as I said it has these little like uh, shorts underneath which with this length of dress you can't even see that well. I mean when it peeks up you see it. Um, which dress is this actually? Uh, I don't even know when this will appear in the movie but this is definitely the dress from like this promotional image. It has the head wrap or head scarf. It has um, this blue striped uh, upper torso and um, it has these little wristbands. Um, another thing, these little, these little wristbands or bangles are also really difficult to get onto those arms. I don't know. It's probably because modern Barbies often do have the, um, you know, the movable um, wrists that this is then thinner. Uh, very, very difficult to get on. Uh, the blue one I almost broke. I had to like, I don't know, bend it open a little and it is almost broke. Like not really, it still holds together, but if you would bend it even more, it would break. I think she looks adorable in this. Um, so this kind of fits. It's pretty low on her breasts, but it's it's totally fine. Um, due to her kind of quick curl hairstyle that I still have on her, I was not able to put the headband in 
um, the same way as she would be wearing it but I mean very adorable and very reminiscent actually of the like very vintage Barbie era this outfit just the material is it's it's a I mean I think I cannot really tell it's probably the same material it's just one that they use to print on because everything here is printed on like that's the no, also the top is the same material but they have quite some um, um, details on it that are not uh, printed and so I'm very happy with this outfit I wish the material was better This one, I mean, I can easily take her off because it's probably... With her, it's like I don't like to like handle my, my quick curl Barbie uh, with, with hands so, so much because, as I said, she tends to lose her arms sometimes. Um, so we can avoid that by leaving her on the, um, on the stand. So, this outfit's my favorite for sure, uh, out of these three in terms of quality. I put it as you already see on my um, on the bridesmaid the bridal Barbie um, this I don't understand fully this is just a little ribbon but it's nothing you cannot attach it it doesn't even have velcro on the back or anything uh, I mean you can just put it in the hair and it kind of stays but I don't know how what else is intended to be done with it this outfit is of course the outfit when she's waking up it's her sleeping gown her like you know pajamas and um, as as it is like like loose fitting kind of it has like also these see-through snap buttons two of them one at the top here one in the back middle um, you can easily close those. Uh, the only area where it's a little bit tight is over the chest area here. Era? Area? <laughs> um, but not, not, not too much. It, it still looks very, very nice. Uh, it's a really adorable thing because the material is super nice. It's a different material and these polka dots are not printed. Those are really like, you can feel them. They are soft. They are like velvet dots on it. Um, and maybe maybe they are printed, but then they are, you know, this the soft print technique. Um, these are, are these, these are real pockets. I mean, you cannot put much in it, but maybe you could put like the the um, the comb in it, the brush in it. Uh, these are real buttons. They are all sewn on. This is also everything is like it's a real tiny uh, lace. So I love this outfit so much. It has these adorable puff sleeves uh, which yeah they even have like uh, an elastic at the top which wouldn't even be really needed um, it has a little color also um, with lace that goes all around it's a real color and um, the only thing I don't like too much is that at one point you can see it here the lace always gets kind of sucked inside because of the way it is sewn at this place so you cannot really fully get it out it will always get inside but it's just this one place um, and she this outfit comes with these adorable mules which like apart from the normal 90s Barbie heels the um, cowboy boots and then the mules are my my third favorite type of Barbie shoes they are classic they are like were used like on the original Barbie of obviously the 50, 59, you know, number one and etc. Um, and was still also used in the 90s. So the mules are really, really cute. And it's almost the original like um, 
like mold it, it feels it's, it's a tiny bit different maybe but it's almost like the original mold so it also comes with this adorable little brush which has the B of the either vintage Barbie era or the new like it's it's not the 90s Barbie logo that they tend to use for the movie um, you know it's probably like the scene where Barbie is brushing her hair with this giant um, like fake brush although this is not even that giant and I think the the um, mold is from other Barbies it's, it's not a new mold that they did this is my favorite outfit for sure and she looks adorable in it every piece of it has good quality has so many details I'm in love with that outfit so that shows me that they still can do it they're just not doing it for everything so I guess most of the money went into that outfit the material and all of the details because I mean here there's also a lot of little pieces that are not just printed but then we have this and this is my least favorite outfit stand and first of all the material is like I mean yeah it is just this printed fabric nothing else I mean it has this bow here and the design of it is cute because the back actually has a heart cut out and then um, here's another bow and this is like it has the scalloped hem at the, at the like front it's just like the scalloped hem but the back is kind of open so you really need to see the trousers so you need to uh, have trousers on it can't be worn as a short dress this is the outfit that she wears at the beach hence why there's the pearl a uh, pearl the shell necklace uh, obviously no earrings for her mine has just the normal like superstar earrings in it and it comes with a hat the hat is probably the best piece it really fits well it stays on it's all way material it's like um, stitched over and with this one, it, as, as it is more, there are more, more like stitches on it, etc. It feels like material. This feels, when it's just this one layer, it feels like paper. Also comes with one necklace, uh, with one bracelet. And uh, I don't actually understand the shoes are um, like a cream color. Uh, I would have preferred a white one, but maybe it's just what they chose in the movie. I don't know. Um, the shoes don't fit all that well or at least one of them but I think it's probably because like this one fits well that one doesn't I think it's probably because like the way the, the foot of my Barbie here is because I changed the shoes and it's the same way one of the feet won't fit one of the yeah feet won't fit in um, in general adorable outfit but you see it it has velcro at the side it doesn't close at all it's really tight I guess it will also be really tight on a modern Barbie so with with this like wider chest area of the vintage vintage ones no chance but I don't know let's see either I, I kind of um, change it a little bit I mean I'm a seamstress I could do something or I will have a look how it will look on a skipper doll <laughs> Okay, 
So I hope you could see everything, um, all the details of uh, the dolls and not the dolls, more or less the fashions, also the dolls, the packages, etc. Um, a little more also in detail when I do it like on my like little turntable. I hope that was worth it. Um, because like you know when I'm showing that and then nah, 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 nah. um, so apart from the little surprise that I got um, in between filming this video at Smith Toys um, we've seen everything that I wanted to show you um, what did I get hot wheels <laughs> yeah I got myself the Barbie the movie hot wheel little car I got myself two because I can leave one in the package and I can open one up. They are really inexpensive. Uh, they are already um, at um, like they are already reduced price, so they are discounted and they just cost one euro uh, sixty-five or something like that. So I took two, <laughs> and um, I figured if I cannot have the you know the original big Barbie car because like. Let's be honest, it's too big and too expensive. Um, let's just get the mini version because this will also be nice. I mean, maybe I can give it one of the dolls in the hands or something like that. It's, yeah, it's, it's really a die cast little Hot Wheels car. Same as I, as I remember from my childhood. I mean, they are still obviously produced. Hot Wheels, back in the day I had a lot of Matchbox. Yes, I was also playing with cars, so. It's the Corvette. <laughs> like, I mean, I don't know if it's exactly like the one in the movie, but I, but I think it is. It's just like the two seats where at the back, I mean, you can sit or you can sneak in your roller skates if you want. <laughs> um, does it have something at the bottom? Yeah, it says even, it says 1956 Corvette. So the car is not, I mean, the original car is from 1956. Uh, made in Malaysia, Hot Wheels 2022 Mattel. So it's metal, die cast metal, nice quality. Like, I don't know, probably Hot Wheels are always made like this. And <laughs> it rolls really good. So the packaging actually, there's nothing too special. I mean, it has the back side doesn't show anything nice. It's just this normal blah, 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 blah in thousand languages. And then it has the Barbie. I always call it dream house. I don't know what it's referred to as in the mansion Barbie's house. It has the Hot Wheels logo and then it has the Barbie the movie logo with the star here. And that's it. So if you want to have a little piece of Barbie movie and you're not dedicated to getting all of these big dolls or expensive fashions, which I don't know where the fashions will be available at all, because now they're also sold out at Mattel Creations. And the fashions I have never seen pop up anywhere else. Um, not where I bought the dolls or were at any other location. I don't know where they will be available. In the US probably you will get them, but here, I, I don't know. Um, I'm so happy that I have them. Um, I also have them in the box still. Where is it actually? Was This is the full box. This is the empty box. <laughs> um, yeah. So I hope you enjoyed the video. It was a little bit all over the place because I'm not used to doing like, um, you know, reviews. <laughs> something in my eye <laughs> um, but I needed to show you all of this pink goodness although most of it is new but I kind of was uh, like sneaking in a couple of vintage Barbies so I hope you enjoyed this video um, if you did then please give this a thumbs up tell me anything you want in the comments down below and if you've not subscribed yet but uh, the kind of vibe that I'm giving here in this video is to your liking, then you maybe want to subscribe. Um, I'm not someone who buys regularly new toys and reviews them. No, I go to flea markets. I buy vintage toys from the 80s and 90s. I unbox my little ponies. I don't know, talk about keepers, cupcake dolls, uh, cherry merry muffin, PJ sparkles, 
whatsoever. So a uh, Polly Pocket. So if that's more also your um, your cup of tea, then please don't forget you can easily click the subscribe button. It doesn't cost you any money. And um, yeah, we recently just hit 3K here on the channel. I'm I'm not a big YouTuber, but um, I mean every little uh, new subscriber kind of helps me out obviously so helps the channel growing and the community growing so thank you so much for watching see you real soon and may the toys be with you bye And as a reward for everyone who stayed right until the end, um, this is how I want to display it. Um, I have not like washed the hair, etc. So uh, they, the dolls are looking the same as you saw because it's just five minutes <laughs> after I stopped filming. Um, but yeah, I think that's that's kind of how I like thought it would go. Kind of put the boxes in the back, put stuff on the boxes. I'm not sure if I leave um, the three dolls, like the, you know, the ones that I dressed like this, but um, yeah, I think this looks pretty nice. And this is where the two Rainbow High were standing before, so now they're standing there. And when I'm not like into the Barbie movie look anymore, then something else will go there. So um, once again, thank you so much for watching. See you real soon and May the toys be with you. Bye!